Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and I upload every single Wednesday and Sunday. Today's video is a get it all done where I'm showing you all of the moments that I was able to be productive over a couple of days. So the first day I'm doing a workout, we're going to be packing, just doing some light cleaning before we leave to the bay and then I come home and I leave to South Carolina, so we're going to be doing some unpacking, lots of cleaning, a grocery haul, basically just doing everything we can to stay productive, get things done so that we can enjoy the rest of our life without feeling guilty about things hanging over our head. For those interested in the workout program that I have been doing for the past nine weeks, it's called First Form and I will have everything linked down below. It's an app, it's $12 a month, you get your workouts, you count your macros, and you get an amazing advisor. So I'll leave my advisor's info down below as well. But I've been loving it, my body has changed drastically. I've built lots of muscle, and besides that, I'm definitely eating more protein and feeling my best. So once I'm done my workout, I have to get my nails done. So I just got like a fun red color because it was right before Memorial Day. And then I'm just like catching up on some chores before I start packing. Of course, we are doing laundry because as a mom of four, it's pretty much just a daily task, which I'm grateful for. If you're new here, my mindset of course, we're allowed to have times when we're like, oh my gosh, I'm tired of everything because I'm a human being and I definitely feel like that sometimes. But when you have a grateful mindset, it makes everything in life better because it's genuinely all about perspective. So blessed am I that I get to, one, have a home with a washer and dryer, that I get to have a family that I can wash clothes for, all of those things. When you are doing housework, I genuinely feel like it just helps so much when you have an attitude of gratitude i'm not even trying to rhyme but just genuinely when you think about how blessed you are to be doing what you're doing in the moment and it's just i don't know it makes it go by faster and it makes me personally really enjoy homemaking i feel like it's an honor to be able to do all of this for my family so you know if my closet is a hot mess that's usually how my mental space is my closet, my purses, all that stuff, when they're cluttered, that's how you know you can really just like match my mental health to that. So I have been just so busy. End of school year stuff just feels a lot like the holidays. There's always something. It's all really fun stuff, but it just leaves not a lot of time for the housework and things like that. So of course, I always put myself last when it comes to like doing laundry and clothes and stuff like that. So. I am finally getting around to putting a massive amount of clothes away. When I stay on top of things, it's much easier. It's not usually this much work. Um, but anyway, I'm just wanting to put my clothes away. When I leave to go somewhere, I want to come home to a nice, clean house. I feel like it's like such a good feeling to get home, but also when you don't have more stuff hanging over your head because when you come back from anywhere of course you got to do laundry get groceries and just get your life back together which stay tuned because we will be doing that as well um i just feel like it's nice to come home to a clean slate if you can so chris packed for the boys i packed for the girls and now i'm packing for myself this is just for the bay house so we went to the bay house over memorial day weekend my family came and stayed with us and we just had a great time we have the boat in the water like it was amazing we came home for one night and the next morning we left to south carolina which is what felt like the true vacation because there's no kitchen i couldn't cook all of our meals were out it was just three nights in charleston 
and oh my gosh you guys it is so hard to not want to move to South Carolina um, but before we go I have to do my voiceover for my last video because obviously I can't be doing my voiceover in a house full of people at the bay or in South Carolina so I got that done and then Chris took this footage of Everly. She wanted to clean the playroom to help her mama and she actually did such an amazing job. It's something that the kids, like when they actually do it, I feel like they are so proud of themselves and she actually thinks this vacuum works. What are you gonna show me? The playroom. A clean playroom? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes. You walk me there. Tell me when I can open. Oh my goodness, you did so good. Evie, you did all that? High five. Say, I'm getting it all done. That's right, just like mommy, right? She really truly did this. I only helped with the pillows. After that footage, we went to the bay and then we went to South Carolina and now it is 10.30 at night. We just got home from South Carolina. In the car on the way back, I did an Instacart order, which is such a blessing because it was there ready for us. Like I think like five minutes after we got home, it was delivered. So it couldn't have been more perfect. I just grabbed some staples. Lately, Carter's really been into ravioli, which is funny because when he was a baby, he loved ravioli and now he likes it again. So that's why I got that. The Annie stars are just like something easy to have on hand and then some snacks and bread we got our iced coffee and of course some produce but the next day we did wind up doing like a larger Costco haul because once um, we get home we have Ella's dance recital which I'm gonna be getting for um, getting ready for in a minute after I just throw everything in the fridge I'm not doing anything fancy it's late I did it everything shower once we got off the airplane and put the food away um, and then I'm gonna just get Ella's stuff ready for the morning I was exhausted because although Charleston was so much fun and amazing we only had two like king-size beds so I had both girls sleeping with me Chris had both boys sleeping with him and to sleep just was not the best but I couldn't complain because everything else was so amazing so I just wanted to set all of her stuff out for the recital to get it off my mind um, because like when I'm falling asleep, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I have to do this in the morning, blah, blah, blah. It's easier to have it all set out. So now after Ella's recital, I'm getting to unpacking everything. So the night when we got home, we got our groceries, just got our stuff ready for the recital. And now it's time to unpack. Chris did his stuff and the boys stuff and I'm doing my stuff and the girls stuff. That's usually like how we split a lot of tasks. All right, so while you're watching me unpack, I just wanna catch up on some things. So I was for the longest time doing a Sunday newsletter and I just completely fell off with it when I started counting my macros because I didn't really meal plan as much. I kinda just had some staples for myself and some staples for the kids and I feel like that was such a big part of the newsletter was like having the meal plan in there with Pinterest links. I do hope to get back to that now that I'm like really learning and feeling comfortable with my macros, like figuring out how to do recipes to fit them in. I will say when I first started counting macros learning, some of the easiest things to have on hand, just in case you want to start as well, was like frozen cauliflower rice, frozen vegetables, which I still always get, it's like a staple because they're so quick to just throw in a pan and fry them up together with some liquid aminos and they're delicious. So you have like your veggie side and then the Amy Lou is a great brand. Um, I feel like you can get them definitely at Costco, but there's other stores that carry it as well, A-M-Y-L-U. And it's a healthier version, like there's chicken meatballs, they have a teriyaki one that I really love. They have like an onion cheddar chicken burger. Um, what else is my favorite? Oh, they have a, a Asiago chicken sausage. They're all very good and just so easy because you just can th throw them in a pan. They're pre-cooked. So little staples like that kept me on track, but now I feel like I'm comfortable enough to make up my own recipes with like more ingredients and count them. It was just really um, beneficial to keep it simple, especially in the beginning when you're learning 
And still, like I said, I'll always have that kind of stuff on hand for quick, easy meals. Um, so definitely want to get back to the newsletter. Today I'm also uploading like my June free printables, like we have our monthly reset, which honestly this felt a lot like a monthly reset because you'll see soon we did go to the car wash and just do all that type of thing. I cleaned the house. Um, I also donated a bag of clothes. So I feel like we did do a lot of monthly reset stuff in this video. I also just feel like I made the best planner ever. I'm gonna share a reel and I'll share it as a short as well. But I wanted a new summer planner. You know how I am, I love like my pen and paper. I tried digital, it just genuinely didn't work out for me. Um, so I made one with just random things that I found on Amazon and I couldn't be happier with it. My next step is that I'm going to try to make my printables the size of the planner because it's a smaller planner and have those in there and then I will share it. But I'm loving this new planner. I can't wait to share it with you. But back to um, the weekly newsletter, I love to share it because like I'll do like little updates on life. I'll have like links to things in there. But I'm also right now having my website completely redone. I think next week I'm getting new photos. I just want it to be a little bit more clean and crisp and organized for you. The printables feel kind of messy right now. Like everything I just feel like needs a little revamp. So I hired a girl to do my website and so far I'm loving everything that she's done so far. But still, no matter what, you can go to tiffanybeeston.com and put your email at the bottom and you'll get my free newsletters once I start that back up. And there's a ton of free printables. The thing that I'm most excited about for my website, besides that it'll have everything there for you, like any link, anything you're looking for, it'll be right there for you, is that I'm going to start a recipe blog on there so that I can have my recipes written and easy for you to print because right now I don't have that and I'm just really looking forward to that. So that is just like a little catch up there. And then a catch up on life, what we're doing today. We are back in Ella's room or Ella and Evie's room and I'm putting away their clothes and donating anything that like doesn't fit them anymore or is out of season that won't fit them again and um, Ella wanted to help with me and she loves helping it's so sweet and she's actually really good at everything like she makes her bed she folds she likes to hang the clothes as you can see here and I honestly just feel like she is a little mini me So today, you're watching this on Sunday, if you're watching it the first day that it came out, and we are now having a soccer party for all of the kids on Carter's travel soccer team because it's our last game today. Everyone's coming over after. I got like trays of Chick-fil-A yesterday since they're closed on Sunday, so I'll heat those up for everybody. But it was definitely like, come home, get your life back together. We have Ella's dance recital. We had the boys' last baseball game yesterday. Everything is just like coming to an end. And like I said, it's all so much fun, but it's very busy. I also came out with a June and July schedule for my content. And I usually love to put out like a calendar of what to expect, you know, so you can see like all of my videos that I have planned. But let me know if you like that better or being surprised. I heard mixed reviews if you would like to see like the schedule ahead of time or if you just want to be surprised and see whatever pops up on Sunday and Wednesday. Also if there's anything else that you want on my website or any more free printables definitely comment down below because I love to do all that kind of stuff. So now I'm starting to feel a little bit lighter. I feel like we're getting somewhere. All those bags were put away which are overwhelming. Now I'm just in the bathroom putting all my toiletries away and like my hair stuff and it's funny because I don't know if you guys can relate but if I have a leftover makeup wipe I'll just like wipe off my counter or like any random spots I see so you'll see me using a makeup wipe because one of my eyeshadows exploded and it was like all over everything else in my makeup bag so I just used a makeup wipe to clean it off and it worked perfectly and then you'll see me just wiping down anything else
so we are donating the bag of clothes that I have and then we're going to the car wash so we have a monthly um, car wash membership that's so affordable it's like $15 a month and we go at least once a week is my car disgusting often yes it is but I still go once a week it just gets messy fast because that's life especially if you're a sports mom you know like a lot of meals are in the car like activities for the other kids so it does get messy quick but I love having a car wash membership highly recommend Once the car is washed, I just have like a reusable bag and I'll put any like random stuff that needs to come out of the car in that reusable bag and then we throw away any trash, get to vacuuming and then I also bring my thieves spray and some cloths with me as well. As you can see, this is a family affair right now, and there's really no good place to put my camera to record, so please excuse me. So it's 9 o'clock, still a little light out, almost 9 o'clock. I think it was actually like 8.30. Um, and Everly, I got to bed. I like came home and gave the kids a bath and stuff. Everly is in bed. And I was determined to still get this weeding done because when I came home, I was like, where did all of these weeds come from? And my rose bushes grew a ton, which I'm happy because they're beautiful. My hydrangeas are starting to bloom. But these weeds had to go and I actually feel like it was really nice doing it at this time because it wasn't like super hot. I also know that after rain is a good time to do it because the ground is softer, but I love gardening, if you can call this gardening. I love weeding. I love doing anything like with the outdoors, any planting, watering my flowers, all of that stuff just genuinely brings me so much joy.
So that honestly took like no time. Now I'm just blowing off all of the dirt and you can see that it's getting kind of dark. I'm headed inside to take a shower. I edited the first portion of this video and then Everly had me up all night. I think she's just so off of her schedule. So I woke up late and here we are this morning just grabbing some coffee. I didn't get to do my workout yet. I'm still gonna get it in at some point today but I wanted to hurry up and clean the house because like I said, we're having a soccer party. Chris took care of the outside, which is where we'll, we will mostly be, but I still want it like everything to be nice and clean for when everyone came over. I like it nice and clean in general, but I definitely felt more rushed because we're having people over today. So it was 8.20 when I started cleaning and when I was done, I think it was around 10:30, so it did take some time and it's funny because this video obviously took days and it's only 42 minutes long but it really does take some time but first thing I'm doing is the downstairs bathroom and I'm putting some essential oils in wiping everything down putting some fresh hand towels out and just making sure it doesn't smell like hot urine for when people come over Now that the sink and mirrors are all nice and clean, we wiped off the shelves. I'm just doing the toilet. I always start from the outside, spray everything, close it back up, and then wipe down, ending on the inside. So I'm just going to let that sit for a while and hope that it takes some of the pee stains out and then I'm just dusting where our little towel rack is and putting some fresh hand towels out. Moving on to the entryway, just wiping all of this down. Please keep in mind, I am still not even awake yet, but I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, gotta clean, gotta work out, gotta do all this kind of stuff. This is how I always feel on Sundays. 
but at the end of the day I feel like I go to bed on Sundays feeling good because things are done and usually everything's ready for the week ahead in most cases but I'm excited to have like a little celebration tonight for our soccer team because I also really love all of the parents on the team. Staying in the entryway, just wiping down our door because there's always adorable little fingerprints on it, but it really needed a good clean. Chris and I are like, is it even going to stay like this by the time people get here? And probably not, but hopefully then I'll just only need to do little touch-ups. I don't know about you guys, but one of my first steps in cleaning my kitchen all the time is just putting the random stuff away. There's so much random stuff. This basket on the island is from stuff that I unpacked and needed to come back downstairs. So I basically made a basket yesterday when I was unpacking of stuff that needed to come back downstairs. So step one, put the random stuff away. Step two, unload and load the dishwasher. Chris had already done most of it. There were just a couple of things left. Before I go ahead and scrub the sink, I wanted to put Ella's dance recital flowers that I made her in some water. I completely forgot to do that last night. Um, so some of them weren't so pretty today, but I'm hoping they liven up once they get a drink. So that's what I'm doing, just putting that in. And then you'll see this really cute um, pink flower made out of faux flowers that my mother-in-law got her for the dance recital. I added that in here as well. And then the beads that I had wrapped around her bouquet, I'm just wrapping around the vase. Next, I'm just going to scrub the sink because it really needed a lot of love as it usually does. The first thing I did was I just scrubbed it with some soap and water. Then I put some of the Thieves um, tub and sink powder in here with some vinegar and just really gave it a good scrub.
And while we're here, I'm just filling up the dish soap and hand soap. I need to order more dish soap. Um, it wasn't, I wasn't able to completely fill it, but there's some more in there. And then I'm taking out the garbages and wiping everything down. Are your kids still in school this week? We have a lot of end of year parties, but our kids are still in school for like another two weeks or so. And then after that, we are having Carter's Philly sports themed ninth birthday. And then we are off to the bay and I cannot wait. Of course, I love this house so much, but it's so nice to be by the water and by, you know, all my birds, crazy bird lady, bird nerd. Um, it's just like a nice little switch up. However, I will say when I was in South Carolina, I came home and I was like, Pennsylvania is so stupid. Everything's dumb here. You know, like that's how you feel because South Carolina was just, it's, it was just amazing. I absolutely love it. All right, finally wiping down the island, which is always the worst because the kids eat here and they like to smear things into it. It's funny because on camera you can't see because you know the lighting is nice, but there's sticky crap everywhere. And that's what I'm doing is wiping that down. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm like wiping something, I always find something else to wipe. There would be like something like on the trash can or on the sink. Like I always just, you know, it's a slippery slope, but I think now the kitchen is nice and wiped down for the most part i'm sure when people are here it'll you know there's probably something else that i missed but i'm not going to worry about it. i'm just going to have fun with the people that are here and everyone has kids they are not going to be like oh my gosh is that a fingerprint on your island this is what i have to remind myself of Okay, we are vacuuming up the monstrosity of crumbs that are everywhere. I love having this little like rug here, but it does collect so many crumbs, so it always needs lots of love. Um, but I also have the Tinico, which like, is a vacuum mop, but I don't ever just like use that as like a vacuum to pick up these big chunks of stuff. I always like to vacuum first, 
and then use the Tinico. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you on Wednesday for a new video. Also, if you want to join my website, just go to tiffanybeeston.com and just put your email at the bottom. Everything on there is free. Um, I just like to you know, be able to connect with you on other platforms as well. So if you're on Instagram, it's at t.beeston. You can follow me there as well. I have some fun reels planned. Plus I want you to see my planner that I made, I'm going to put that reel up probably tomorrow. Again, here's the kids showing me that they cleaned the playroom. They're so proud of themselves. So have a beautiful week ahead. So I